Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today we're going to do a very simple glow effect. It's a beginner's glow effect, so I didn't want to make it too complicated, and we'll see how it goes, so let's get started. So I pulled this photo from Stock Photos, and I have the link in the description below. And what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate that, Control or Command J, and on the second one I'm going to do, instead of normal, I'm going to take the thing to add like that. And then what I'll do next is I am going to do layer, new fill layer. And on top of that, on that fill layer, I am going to do some sort of a blue. We can adjust the blue later. Let's let's try something like that. And we will do that as I think multiply. So now what I'll do is I am going to take that second uh, layer, that duplicate layer that we did, plus the fill and group it. And then at that point, I can always darken it or lighten it later. And then I'm going to add a mask. I'm just going to do that. And now on that mask, I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm going to hit the letter D to, to make my black and white appear. And I'm going to go to black. And maybe I'm going to keep the flow. I'm going to bring the flow up, but the hardness down. And I'm going to just start painting over that mask in black. And I want to bring out the lion. And again, this is a beginner's tutorial. So I'm going to get a close-up. And I may not do this perfectly, but you should take much more time. Um, I'm using my left bracket to lower and my right bracket to raise this up. And I'm just going to keep my brightness as much as I can. I'm kind of going more in the middle because the flow, I have the flow not 100%, but as I go to the edges, I'm not going to go as many times on the edges. But on the inside, I am because he's glowing from the inside, mostly. So I'll go like that and like that, and then maybe a couple of passes here. And maybe more in the middle again. And I'm just going to, the middle, I'm just going to go as much as I can. I'm going to keep going. And I want him to be completely glowing. And just like that. And I should have really done 100% flow in the middle, but I figured I'd just go a little at a time. It's safer. And you can see I'm not at the very edge yet. But I'll get that later. And now I'm low, left bracket. I'm making my brush smaller. And I'm working with a mouse, so it's not as easy with a mouse to follow these, you know, to follow the exact lines, but you do your best. Let's go right here. And let's get some of this out here. Just like that. I'm going to get the edges in a minute. And again, this is really a simple tutorial. I'm not trying to make it, there's a lot of fancier ways to make clothes happen and all. But this is how I'm doing it right now. Now I want to get the shadows. I mean, not the shadows, the glow outside. So let me pull back a little. Oops, I didn't get the head at all. <laughs> Oops. I got to get that. I'll just make my brush bigger. So now in order to get the glow on the outside, what I want to do is lower the flow and maybe some of the opacity. I'm just bringing it down a little. You could use your judgment. And I'm making my brush larger. And you see how I'm just, I want the edges of the brush to just start glowing to the outside. I don't want the strong part. So I'm kind of tapping. And I can go a few times, and I think my 
flow might be too. Let's raise that up a little bit. I just need to get more. I want some brightness on the outside of this right here. So as I move out, you see it glows a little bit. And I definitely want a glow right below here where he's sitting. Because it would be reflecting off the ground like that. And same with the tail. We want the tail. We, we need to have a glow under the tail a little bit like that. And I'm just going to get rid of some of that like that. And I might want a little touch of glow above. Not much, just a little. Because it is kind of glowing out there. Let me back it up a little just to see what it looks like. And I'm kind of okay with that, I think. Maybe a little bit more around this edge. And now comes this part. We got to, we have to, the glow has to reflect. Even though the second lion's not glowing, it has to reflect off the second lion. So let's get a little closer here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And remember now, I think I'll take, I'll take down my opacity. And I'm going to kind of just get the edges here of where it would have reflected. Like near the face. And I'm sure right here. And on like right on top here a little bit. And I'm sure right on top of this tail would have definitely reflected. Oops, let me undo that. I think that was a little bit too much, but maybe see how the edge of the tail, that should have reflected as you went back. And even here, anything close to the line would have reflected like that. So I'm going to do extra there. And maybe here up on the ear, you might have had a little reflection. Like, let me undo that. I'm going to make my brush wider because I don't like the way it's why it is softer to me. There you go. I'm just tapping with my brush. And a slight, I would say slightly, I'll make it even wider. Just a slight little bit right there. And definitely where this tail comes up. I think would be good. Like that. And let's take a look at what we got here. A little bit more here because it's very close. So I'm doing more taps to add more because the opacity was lower there. But let's see what we did. And the only thing I think I might want to also do is lower this background a little bit. Or maybe take the whole thing. Let's try taking the whole thing and doing a curves adjustment. And I'm bringing that down just see how that I'm bringing it down, more of a night sky, I think. And I don't like this glow over his ear, the second lion's ear, because he shouldn't be glowing, only the other lion should be glowing. So I'm going to go back to that mask and paint with, instead of black I'm going to switch it with the X key to white and I want to get rid of I go real small I want to get rid of this glow right here right here I don't think there should be a glow coming out of him at all he's just has a reflection coming off of him but what they should be is this lion's shadow I think maybe should follow whoops I'm going to go back to the white I mean, to the black, I think the lion's shadow should kind of still be part of that right there. And, and there we have it. So there's how you do a simple, again, this is a beginner tutorial. It's a very simple glowing effect. I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.